I just couldn't possibly hate you, that's all. Well, good. <laughs> because I couldn't stand that. You know, I think I was trying to punish you, too. Um, I, got, I got a little angry at you. Was it the lies? No, no, it was always the kids. Was it? Just out of curiosity, are you gonna, uh, you gonna go back to Alan? I mean, what's, what's gonna happen with him? Why? I just don't know that it would be a good thing for him to be around the kids. You can go on with your life, but I don't get no, it. No, no, it's not that at all. It's just a, a difficult time, you know, and, uh, it, they're very fragile. Uh -huh. I don't think they should be influenced by Alan Spalding right now. I don't think he should be buying them expensive toys and taking them on, uh, you know, trips on the Spalding jet to who knows where. I just don't think that would be a good thing. I don't think that's why you're worried about Alan Joshua. I think you're jealous. That holier-than-thou, self-righteous, pig-headed stubbornness isn't about the kids at all, is it? You just can't stand the idea of me being with Alan any more than I can stand the idea of you being with Annie. You can't stand the idea of my getting on with my life without you. That's why you fought me so hard. You are way off. Deny it if you want, but I've seen it in your eyes, Joshua. Something hardened in your heart that day you saw me the first time on the plane with Alan, and I saw it again when you found out that Alan had made love to me. And it killed you, didn't it? I just didn't want to see anyone get hurt. Anyone. I didn't want to see you get hurt, Reva. You deserve better than Alan Spaulding. Look at me, Joshua. Please, look at me. the truth that's what you said well i gave you mine but it's a two-way street bud now i want you to tell me here right here in this place where we first made love i want your truth joshua it's not over for you either is it this again reva we've we've talked it out we're finished we have an agreement Yes, we do. You give me a divorce. I get on with my life. I remarry Annie. But there's nobody here except you and me. Maybe some noisy mice in the rafters, some deer out in the woods, but they won't tell anyone, neither will I. So why don't you just tell us all the truth, Joshua? It won't make a difference. It will to me. It'll make all the difference in the world. The truth, Joshua? Or do you want me to take a stab at it? I don't think you want this to be over any more than I do. I think you want what we had as badly as I do. Why else would you have brought me here? Only you know what this place means to us. You see things the way you want to see them. That's not why I brought you here. I brought you here because I had no choice, because you were going to hurt the people I love. I, I, I had to. Is that why you're angry? I'm mad because you keep pushing you're me. You're not mad at me. You're mad at yourself, Joshua. You're mad because the all-perfect Joshua Lewis still has feelings for the imperfect me. You're mad because Joshua Lewis can't love two women at the same time because it's too messy, it's too real. Your feelings for me were supposed to stay as conveniently dead as I was so that you could go on and live happily ever after with Annie. 